did I let myself hacked? Uh, did my laptop, any of these laptops get hacked already? Uh, good question. Probably not. Uh, let's see what happened. So I was talking to a friend of mine and I was telling him that I was looking for the cheapest USB-C laptop charger here in the United States. I checked Amazon. I checked eBay. At the end, I en ended up settling with a $6, 65 watt USB-C charger with free shipping. This is a stack, uh, what I received. Uh, actually, I ended up buying four of these for $24, free shipping included. I was really expecting uh, a, a bad, low-quality charger, and I'm totally shocked when I opened these boxes, uh, and even more shocked when I actually ended up taking some measurement and see how well this 65-watt uh, Nodium charger uh, is actually stacking up against any OEM charger like uh, Dell or Acer or HP. I have quite a few chargers. I cut one of them in half so we can see how the internal components are look like, uh, see how the Dell or an OEM uh, charger looks like uh, against a $6 free shipping charger. So let's dive in and let's see what we have here. So first of all, uh, I took a lot of measurements uh, when I'm charging this Dell uh, Latitude or this Dell Precision Workstation, HP Elite Book, Dell Inspron, and an Acer laptop. When I'm using the original charger, I took measurements with the help of this little device. This is a USB uh, dongle, technically. One end I'm going to feed the charger inside this little device. The other end goes inside the laptop. And after a few seconds, I'm going to be recharging these laptops. And the charger is 65 watt. This little device uh, measures anything between 0 and 30 volt, and I think between 0 and 5.2 amps. So technically, we could go up to 150 watt charger. I only have 65 watt chargers. That's what we're going to uh, look at today. Actually, I have an Acer, which is uh, 30. We have a 45. But we're just going to go compare the 65 versus 65 and uh, see what we have here. So. Uh, when the laptop is actually not running and it's turned off, I'm going to zoom into this so you can see this little dongle. Uh, this dongle was actually $20, which was almost more expensive uh, than these four uh, chargers with the free shipping. So, as you can see, this little screen is capable to put out quite a lot of info and it's supposed to be quite accurate. I also wanted to see if this $6 free shipping charger will be overheating, will be hot. And, and I can tell you that this uh, charger is the same as the Odell or the Acer or any of the original. It is not overheating. It, it's room temperature. I could not get a higher temperature out of this than room temperature. So let's go ahead and do one of the unboxing and see what we have here. So we have some information in here that we have 20 volt and 3.25 amp and this is a USB-C type charger. Looks like this box has been provided for a 65 and for a 45 watt USB-C charger as well. Uh, we have serial number on this box and when we open this box uh, here's the first surprise. The manual is actually really decent. Not only that, uh, it's completely readable. When I buy cheap stuff on Amazon, the manual is usually a size of this and it's completely unreadable. Even if it's readable, the English on it is pretty bad. This is actually decent. The quality of this manual, uh, the language, the grammar is actually checks out. Uh, it is good. So let me move this out of the way and let me also move this out of the way. So we have the regular cable which uh, looks like almost like a Dell uh, charger. There's a couple things missing in here. And when we open this little baggie, I'm gonna move this down in here so we have more space. We're gonna see a totally unbranded no-name charger in here, which almost looks like a Dell Latitude or Dell XPS USB-C charger. And uh, this was advertised as Dell Latitude and XPS compatible. If we're looking at the original Dell USB-C charger, uh, it's different. This aftermarket or no-name brand charger is taller and wider, just a teeny tiny bit, I guess, to try to uh, avoid legal action. Uh, it has its own serial number and all of them are unique. Uh, it doesn't have anything on it. If you're looking at this side, the back side, we have some information. This is a 65 watt charger. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, 
the input uh, could be uh, anywhere between 120 and 240 volts so you should be able to, to use this pretty much anywhere when you're looking at the Dell the actual Dell charger and looking at this the Dell charger on the back side has an army of certificates uh, and uh, certifications that this charger has been the Dell charger has been valid for a European Union uh, for for India for the US for Canada and all the different main countries are all listed in here in here I see the European uh, Union uh, certificate I'm not sure if that is even uh, valid uh, however when we dissect this charger uh, this is what I have here so the same charger as you can see the back side I pulled uh, this part out the bottom part the whole thing slides out uh, of this case uh, this one for some reason has almost a Dell logo on it but it says 65W 65 watt uh, let's look at the Dell charger this is how the Dell charger looks like and look at all the certifications behind on the back side and also uh, when we're looking at I cut it up in the same way so this one has the Dell logo uh, for some reason this was the one and only i bought four of these which had this circle and a 65 watt i think i seen this before at some client's office somewhere i can't remember a couple years ago so this is not a brand new development maybe this is the older model and this is the newer model when it has absolutely nothing on it so let's see how they are similar or different inside before we do that so there's a lot of pre preconception I had. First of all, this $6 free shipping charger is going to be super bad quality. The wires inside going to be bad. These cables are going to be much thinner than the original Dell uh, cable. Uh, maybe it's going to produce some heat. Uh, maybe it's going to have some annoying uh, sound coming out of it. Uh, this is uh, the sound level meter I have picks up absolutely nothing this thing is quiet as as it gets just like the OEM just like the original it produces again no heat no sound nothing whatsoever uh, when it arrived I only plug this charger in when I was around the computer uh, make sure it's not gonna be a fire hazard it's six dollars free shipping so here's another thing uh, if I have to send this box out with the charger in it in my own town I have to take down this to the uh, the postal service or, or ship it out it would cost me probably five dollars to mail this to myself with a charger in it so this was coming from a different state i was uh, looking at reviews and the seller was on the uh, east coast and another buyer was on the west coast and he gave this person uh a a a a, -A plus 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 rating on uh on eBay because of the free shipping I mean obviously uh, the seller is losing money uh, on just shipping the product is not even included so uh, I thought maybe it's gonna be some kind of scam uh, the, the seller had almost no reviews uh, maybe this is just gonna be a super bad product which cost maybe a dollar to, to to make somebody in China and and, and I still, still couldn't figure it out then a friend of mine said like maybe uh, <laughs> maybe I'm a victim already I'm already got hacked because what if uh, this USB charger is not only a charger uh, but uh, I'm sure you're familiar with a USB ninja or a USB samurai or the OMG cable when we can hide technically anything without the charger just in a in a cable itself uh, we can have a Wi-Fi uh, module this could be uh, step one and step two step one these regular phone charging cables uh, can work just as a virtual keyboard without any notification we can preload this with instruction and a little bit of code this works as a virtual keyboard it can send uh, commands to your phone or computer silently and gain access and some of them has a Wi-Fi uh, Wi module when from the distance uh, you can run different commands or, or programs or download things on a phone on a computer being noticed at all so the OMG cable I think it's around $200 uh, the, I think the, uh, the Ninja was around 75 and uh, the, the USB Samurai uh, you can just make uh, your your own cable for like 10 15 dollars so this is this is like yeah i was not thinking about this angle but i'm pretty sure that's not the case however for me i am not uh, an engineer uh, 
I would have to have a commercial firewall, which I should uh, probably at my at my home YouTube studio, so I could see what kind of package is going out when nothing else is uh, is is happening. Just uh, this particular uh, cable or charger when it's plugged in, and also uh, since we are talking about this, this USB digital meter. I mean, who knows what's inside? Uh, again, it's pretty much impossible. If they can hide an antenna uh, and a little chip and something inside a cable, and it looks like an original Apple charger or any kind of uh, uh, Android charger you cannot tell you cannot tell without having a firewall and something is doing log inspection and, and checking traffic same thing with this I could have absolutely no knowledge uh, if if I'm being hacked already or not uh, this is a test environment so none of them is connected to anywhere uh, even if it's a brand new laptop and it's here for reviews it will be secure wiped uh, before it goes anywhere so that being said uh, let's take a look at uh, these chargers inside so uh, let's go with the dad charger first uh, pretty robust uh, good size of cables uh, and wires inside everything is marked and tagged uh, all the components are branded components so yeah if you're looking at the quality uh, we have an external uh, aluminum shield around the power supply this helps to reduce any kind of interference coming out of this panel uh, it's nicely clamped together. We have this rubber uh, rubber surface glue almost. This is what's holding the power supply inside the case and make sure there is no extra room to wiggle, no noise, no vibration coming out. Uh, again, uh, the panel looks nice. Uh, this 3M uh, branded like yellow tape is inside everywhere holding everything together, but it's very solid, very firm uh good build so let's take a look at our aftermarket charger uh, once we dissect it so it's a little bit different uh, when you pull it out um the panel what we have I, I mean it's i'm also surprised and shocked how well this actually built in here i was not expecting not even this build quality so we have a same type of yellow uh tape in here obviously we have significantly less amount and it's not uh, 3m branded the shield what we have here is a little bit smaller on one side uh, the other side is pretty much matching uh, but it's not soldier to the circuit board just like what we had with the Dell uh, we have a same uh, or very similar uh, plastic shield around the panel the cables and everything inside it is pretty good size all the parts and components on a circuit board is completely marked uh, i was expecting to see no name uh, components when you can't read anything uh, this panel doesn't have the full uh, casing around just like a shielding around just like the original dell had and also we don't have those rubberized uh, like drips of glue on each side we only have at one side and in one corner this was technically holding uh, the whole circuit board in place however i was unable to pull out until i broke this apart uh, also when i'm looking at uh, cheap uh, power supply reviews uh, for laptops i see that people are complaining that the usb-c end which actually is is going inside the laptop are so weak that uh, the power supply usually fails after a month or two these cheap ones because the usb-c port in here it literally breaks off i plug the same thing in a bad laptop probably like hundreds of times no issues whatsoever the cable feels firmer more firm than uh, than the original dell uh, this also uh, the case with the same thing it's uh, the dell cable uh, the the power cord which goes to the receptacle and also which goes into the laptop feels softer somewhat there is not a big difference there is, is is enough difference to be able to pick up and also if you're looking at the 65 watt charger in here this aftermarket charger you can see that um just like dell uh, the the indicator in here for the laptop being charged it's an oval shape but the led light is actually circled in here overall so what's going on in here did i get hacked hopefully not probably not so i see the same uh, bad business model what i'm doing in here in this channel 
Uh, so this person has no reviews pretty much or had zero reviews on eBay. What do you have to do when you get into a business selling things or or, uh, or even with my own channel? Well, you have to offer something. So he or she is offering in or you know, his company is offering is uh, a super low price cutting even under Amazon. I think the cheapest uh, comparable uh, laptop charger on Amazon was about eight or nine dollars with sh free shipping. This was six dollars. Not only that, it was accepting offers for five dollars or, or or anything under six, which is crazy. I could not click on a button if if I was buying a computer on network switch, something expensive, multiple drives, uh, solid state server uh, parts. I would definitely send an offer, but six dollars free shipping. Uh, obviously, the seller is taking a loss, uh, probably least. 10 bucks on each of these uh, orders so yeah um 2024 starting a business selling electrical components parts uh very tough competition could be brutal i, I cannot imagine I'm just looking at my own channel i started this about four months ago and i had a laptop giveaway which uh, helped me to uh, to, to boost the channel significantly I went from 25 subscribers to 475 in, in a matter of days uh, so far uh, we sent uh, technically two laptops out uh, the last one was end of December and we're gonna do the same thing this year uh, I'm gonna make some room so I reviewed this budget Dell Inspiron uh, around end of last year it's a 15 inch a low budget windows laptop with an i3 processor 250 ssd and 8 gigs of ram so i'm going to give this laptop away uh, around uh, first or second uh, week of march if you have a u.s shipping address uh, this is how you can get into this uh, giveaway first of all uh, this is my email address in here so please send me an email and i want you to do two things in a subject line please put 65 w uh and no, nothing else and in the body of the email send me just your house number and your name of the street here in the united states no town no zip code uh no uh no state required this is going to be just serve as a purpose as uh for verification in the future i'm not gonna compile a big database or, or email list and sell it to a third party every time uh, the giveaway is closed and a winner is been selected this is going to be securely erased i'm not going to email you only if you are a winner so again send me an email to this particular email address put 65w in a subject line make sure the body of the email includes your house number for example one two three and the name of the street let's say like green street and that's it nothing else needed this is going to be just for future verification when i draw one of you and, and i'm going to send you an email uh, i will ask you your full u.s shipping address and i expect it to see your exact uh, house number and name of the street what you emailed me uh, for entry there's going to be multiple entry to win this laptop every end of the video there's going to be a same thing instructions how to get in i already have some from the previous video uh, so good luck and I see you at the next video. Scott's out.